stage six now. So in this round, there is a lot of uh, CCing and stunts and all that shit going on. I will try to explain those things later to you. You, we, you will also get some bigger mobs like flash atros or lur lurkers that deal insane damage and I will try to tell you how to deal with them. So like when the round starts here it's not really difficult just kill those two but again as they're quite annoying as they they root you on the ground and yeah it's it's a little bit retarded but anyway just kill them they shouldn't be hard to kill because they don't have a lot of HP at all. Also, the other mobs that will spawn, they really don't have a lot of HP, so you you really can kill them easily. Okay, there is this lightning AoE. It is like when you're on the movement, when, when you are on the move most of the times, like run around, kite stuff, it doesn't really hit you at all because it is very slow, like you see the AoE coming and yeah, it, it doesn't move with you, so it's, it's easy to avoid. However, if you want to activate the synergy or something, like you have to stand close to something and that shit hits you, it deals quite a lot of damage, so you have to be aware where it is and how it hits you. Okay, so in this arena you will also have uh, another mechanic with those pillars that are around the arena. You see one in the middle and I think it's four or five around. So now you see at the start most of those pillars are webbed up from the from spiders or whatever so what you want to do now is with those small bugs like they really die in one two hits you want to go close to one of those pillars that has those webs around them when you kill the bug close to it it will get freed once you have freed all the pillars from those webs like all the moths that are currently in the arena will get stunned for like 10 seconds, I think. So you really can try to coordinate when there is a mini boss or something. You can always let like one pillar webbed up. And when you see, okay, a big a boss is coming or a lot of mobs are coming, you can try to bring one of the, one of the box there and then kill it. And then everybody will get stunned when you want it. Now also, when the bug dies somewhere far away from a pillar, you will see those those clumpy, disgusting balls on the ground. You can use them like a synergy and throw them to one of those pillars, and it all, they all, then the pillar also will get freed. Also, you can throw those disgusting balls at the mob, and then it will take more damage. Important is that you always, like, once you activate all the pillars, after the stun is over, all the pillars will get webbed up again, except one. So you really have to make sure to try to find the, the new bug that spawns shortly afterwards, so you can free a second pillar. That is important because through the arena there are very small spiders spawning and you can't kill them and they only go away when you go to one of those pillars that is uh, glowing up yellow because they're kind of scared of the light i guess so that's the only way you can get rid of them and you you always need two pillars that are unwept because when one is glowing, sometimes it stops stops right when the small spiders uh, like come up, spawn. Then you have to go to the second one, which will glow up. And if you don't have a second one, you will have like 10 seconds without the glowing 
pillar and then you're most likely dead. Now you heard this strange sound. That's the sign that now those small spiders are spawning and they will attack you. Now you see, I was going to this pillar that was glowing yellowish and those small spiders, they kind of get, uh, I don't know, reflected from this yellow shit or they're scared of the light and then they disappear again. If you don't do that, then those small spiders, like all, when they all attack you, you will die. So you really have to make sure to stand close to one of those glowing pillars. Okay, now the, the first kind of dangerous mob. Those flat at, flash atronarchs. They hit like trucks, so you really want to try to kite them or dodge roll block their attacks because they take away like 60% of your HP. I always try to save up my ulti for those mobs so I can nuke them down fast. Again, if it's your first time, maybe use a Sigil because you will see he deals a shit ton of damage. If he hits you, you really want to make sure that you heal up again. Because two hits of the of this mob and you're dead. You will see. Again, this melee mob, especially for Magicka users, it can be really annoying, so you want to focus it first, because it always roots you. And as Magicka you don't have a lot of stamina to break free, so maybe at some point you can break free and then a lot of mobs will hit you at the same time and you die. So maybe just focus this dual wheel dude first as a Magicka setup. Also another thing, you see now there's this lightning again and it's always kind of swapping back and forth, like you will get lightning, after the lightning those small spiders will come, after spiders lightning will come. It should never be that both things are there at the same time, so you, you never really get the lightning and the spiders at the same time unless some shit is really broken. But yeah, whatever. I think they there it was an issue before, but I think now they fixed it. And before I forget it, you see the the circle there that I highlighted, there is another spider. Like as I said with the box, you kind of unweb the pillars. And from time to time one of those spiders will will spawn and try to web those pillars again. So it doesn't have a lot of HP, so make sure to kill it fast. And always look around like you have to know which pillars you freed already. So you can see when always like have them in your eyesight. So you can see when one of those shitty spiders spider comes up and tries to web it again. You really want to kill it so it doesn't get webbed, the pillar. You see there's a lot of shit going on. The big flash Atronarch which deals a lot of damage and lightning strikes that can hit you 
if the flash shot through and the lightning strike hit you at the same time, you're most likely dead. On the right side, you see one of those spiders that tries to web the pillar. Then one of the small uh, box there. There's really a lot of stuff going on and I know my build more like perfectly, so I really don't have to to look at my skills, so I can really focus on the situation, which helps me a lot. So you really need to know your build really good. Okay, now you have this kind of stem sword mini boss, I think. He he has this uh, lightning strikes AoE. It's easy avoidable, you will see. And the most annoying thing is he has a negate. So you really don't want to use your ultimate before he drops a negate. So wait till he drops a negate. And when he drops the negate, you could use your ulti. Another thing here is, you see, like, I have almost all pillars freed from the webs for a long time already. So what I usually do here, when the boss, when this mini boss is at 50% HP, I free the last pillar. So the boss gets stunned and I can DPS him down to zero very quickly. Because at 25%, uh, two archers, I think it's two archers, I think, will spawn. So you really want to make sure to get rid of this mini boss really fast. But as you see here, I had enough DPS, so I just killed him without uh, freeing the, the pillars, the last pillar. Here you want to make sure to kill the mage first, it doesn't have a lot of HP but it can be very dangerous if the flash outro and the mage hit you at the same time. So try to kite around the flash outro and make sure to kill the mage really fast.
Okay, now next round. Here I literally shit my pants because you saw this lurcher. He has this kind of bash attack. It deals a lot of damage and the mage with the AoE. If those both had hit me, I would have been dead. Also, the mob from the left side, it could have rooted me at this very perfect time and then the other two mobs hit me in the face and I'm dead. So what you will see now, I try to kite uh, this lurcher a little bit and kill off the two small mobs first. Because really you don't want to get hit by this lurcher. If you have the possibility, kite it. Always kite it and avoid the damage that it does. Now another mini boss, he does like light attacks and uh, wrecking blows with his two-hander which are really annoying but they don't really kill you but if he hits you with his wrecking blow and the lightning strike hits you at the same time you're dead so you really just avoid it. Now you see he's, he's casting something, it's kind of one of those dis disgusting dirt balls he's throwing at you and when you have that I think you get the dot and you are snared, so if you're a DK just reflect it back and if you're another class just dodge roll it if possible. Same thing here, at 25% two mages are spawning, if I, uh, two mages, so I, I have enough DPS so I just nuke him down but what you also can do is again with the pillars just let one pillar webbed up and then get when he's at 50% get the bug and free the last pillar and then the mob will be stunned and you just can DPS him down at 25% other mobs will spawn but they are also stunned so they can't attack you so you have time to kill this mini boss Okay, I was wrong. You see, two archers and the melee dude. Now it's up to you, like, you can kite the melee dude, but he roots you, so I prefer you focus him first and then you kill the archers if possible. Or just AoE down everything, whatever. Now the last two mobs before the boss, two lurkers, lurchers or whatever you call them. You really don't want to get hit by them at the same time, so if you're ranged just kite them. If you're melee, you can try to hit them in melee combat and just make sure always be at max range so you they kind of can't really hit you but you can hit them because they have a bigger hitbox than you. Or just wait till they go into their shaking mode and then kill them, you will see. They have this red AoE when they shake their bodies around, but the AoE is very small, so you have time to attack them from outside. Or just take the defensive, sit chill, and then you're also safe. So this boss, here it is kind of a DPS race to a certain point because 
at some point the boss can one shot you if you're too slow but I will get to that later basically the boss has his his spits kind of balls at you if you're a DK just reflect them and yeah they do decent damage so really make sure to heal yourself or have a shield up or dodge them and he also has an AOE attack just make sure not to stand in there those lightning strikes that go over the ground at some point he also has a really huge AOE he kind of cuddles himself and charges the AOE up and the red AOE will get bigger and bigger you have to make sure to stand outside of that because it one shots you almost or it actually one shots you I think then you see one of those spiders or yeah it looks like a baby version of the boss you have to make sure to kill this mob because the longer it is alive the more you will get snared so I think it can go up to a 90% snare and the problem with that is when the small spiders spawn you you are not fast enough to get one to, uh, to get to those pillars that are glowing up and then you're dead okay let's see So again there is this one shot mechanic, after a certain amount of time the boss will one shot you. However you can reset this one shot mechanic by freeing all the those pillars from the webs. When then all the mobs get stunned, the boss gets stunned, if you have really high DPS you can nuke him down quite fast. Because it stuns, stuns him for like 10 seconds, I think, or something. And again, the one-shot mechanic gets resetted. And you also saw, when the boss fight started, at the start, I already had almost all the pillars freed from the webs. So I only need one buck to get my stun ready. That's what I did now, you will see. Now I really damage the boss as fast as possible. Usually at 50%, a uh, lurcher will spawn. You will spawn later, you will see. But usually if, if the boss isn't stunned, the lurcher will spawn at 50%. If you want, you can take the defensive sigil. Usually what I do when I'm unsure, I just drop the boss to like 60 and then I stun the boss with the pillars. And when the stun is over, I go take the defensive sigil. So you saw I was just ignoring all the other mobs because I know he was in execute phase and I just could execute him but I took the defensive sigil because if the lurcher hits me and the boss then I'm most likely dead and with the defensive sigil I knew the boss's attacks get reflected and I could kite the lurcher around a little bit so I could just focus on the boss if you if you have less DPS as I said, stun the boss at like 60% if possible, then DPS him down with ulti etc as fast as possible. And when the stun is finished, take the defensive sigil, kill the lurcher and then kill the boss. And still, all the other shit is around. There is lightning strikes, there is those small spiders that spawn, so you, have, you really have to be aware what's going on. It is not an easy fight. 